All right, so I need to make this quick. I'm gonna start the vlog up right now. Big issues because the restaurant, I think, one of the dishes we had a show. I'm talking about this after. We're not feeling the best at all today. Seven hours sleep or so. And we got everything packed here. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to head out. It's crazy. I'm gonna be leaving here. So water was looking really weird earlier, but I'm gonna go to the airport now. It's about one o'clock. Got a taxi call. The guy's coming to get our bags. And I'm gonna go ahead and see at the airport. Let's hope everything goes all right today. Okay guys, so I'm in the airport now. It's getting crazy out here. So they let us through again with water. As you can see and a couple other glass bottles. I'm shocked that Brazil is really relaxed on this. Now our next flight after Rio, they're not gonna let us through with the water. Some food and stuff here. So I'm hoping everything's gonna go okay. A lot of people popping around here. I got double masks. So it's gonna help with more filtration. It feels better, it's hotter, but for the airport, I think it's it's good after last time. I can't believe I'm leaving the country today. I hope everything goes well. I uh, wish me luck, even though by the time you see this, everything will obviously be far done, long gone in the past. I'm gonna keep you updated and let you know how it goes. I take my shoes off again, walk on the floor with my socks. So that's like there should be something to cover your feet. I don't know. I think it's on some airports. Yeah, I guess I'll see you when I'm on the plane. So I'm in the airport here now. People are so crazy getting up. The guy said one at a time from the front. Everyone got up at the same time. It's like freaking out. That's ridiculous. They people act like animals. Here is how the airport looks. As you can tell, it's already holes in the ceiling. Some stores over here and stuff. You actually wanted me to show that. Like yeah, how this looks. I wanted to show because I don't think there's more. It's like no. Look at that. Look at that. It's Holes everywhere and stuff already. We need to go find our flight in the in Air France and go ahead and get ready to depart and uh, we need to get checked in stone and everything. So I'll, I'll see you in a bit. And uh, again, we have right up here another area actually. Yeah, I put them out everywhere here. Uh, I don't know what their problem is exactly with the way things are here. Pretty horrible like, all the way down here. It just doesn't stop. Like, just keep looking at this. There's wire damage here. That's crazy. There's constant issues. It doesn't stop all over here, all the way down. It's crazy, look at this. now and the first thing is uh, kind of a little bit dirty here but other than that your seat's not working you need to get that checked as well my seat's working we got some stuff here like this like a blanket and a pillow here you can see we got 12 languages here we're taking off to paris now and we will be in warsaw pretty soon after that yeah what do you think of this so far i think uh we have a menu we can choose from as well. We can go here, champagne, wine. We got all kinds of different things that we can try. She's doing French, I'm doing English, so. <laughs> Let's yeah. go ahead and see how things are here. There's outside the window for now. It's way more pretty in real life. I'm gonna be back when we start taking off. So apparently we can see what's going on like behind here as well. There's the front. We can see what the pilot's seeing. It looks strange as you can tell around this area. And definitely down here you can see it's like a weird stain. I've never seen issues with cleanliness so far from what I'm seeing.
not speaking, I wish I recorded that. Informat so we got here to the whole bottle of the wine, which is very interesting. We got red and I got white. So uh, I'm going to order more drinks. Here's the meat. So um, I'll let you know how it tastes. So I haven't been able to actually speak properly about what's going on, but I went to the airport, charged a lot of stuff, 144 euros for like a kilogram of some chocolate there, or Paris chocolate, not worth it for my son. I think somebody joined us next to us in our seat, so that was interesting to take a break for that. But yeah, I'm so shocked that I'm actually out of South America and I'm in Europe now. Very interesting day for sure. Chicken, smoked provolone cheese, and lettuce, it's pretty cool. And we're on our way to Warsaw. I guess I'll see you when we're going down. This reminds me of my trip. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice great yeah, scissor clouds all the way down there. We got a couple things. Yeah, chicken sandwich as well. It looks like pee every time, so it's like an alcoholic taste to it as well. Somewhat. Yeah, we are high up. This isn't mine because I ain't mine already. This is the softest bread I ever had in my life. It's so soft. Clouds are very interesting here. I'm just satisfied overall. So if anything changes, I'll let you know, but so far. I don't even know where to start. It's one a and here um <clears throat> We had so many issues trying to like just get in here to the country. They already had us checked and for uh, for issues because we we're coming from Brazil. They thought we we're doing drugs, like brain drugs or something. Two women took us, acted all nice, and it was be a problem because of what was happening. I went and searched through our bags, so it's such an invasive privacy, even though they already scanned everything. And on top of that, they went through everything, and I thought for sure that they would go and cause problems with the knife. I was like really freaking out. Because I saw, I looked up, and they, they don't treat knives as weapons. So I thought I'd be okay. It looks like I'm okay. But they really were treating me better than, than her with me. And they took her out by herself, had her go uh, give them a urine sample while watching her, basically. She's trying not to uh, do it uh, in front of people at all, but they were trying to humiliate her. And put her like a glass see through, so had, like, she had to go away from them, try to have privacy in some form. She couldn't do it by herself. 
she because they thought she could go do something and she was really messed up by by all this just like after all such a long flight we thought we'd just go in and like everyone knows normally and be okay but no th then this all happens and and just look into all your personal items the way they act it's just speaking their person their, their language polish like the way these people act they're so such douchebags I prefer Brazilians. I prefer French. French people were not like this. They were way nicer. I'm sorry. I just, I'm in shock. I'm not a fan of the way these people acted in the airport. They literally just go and, and so rude as to go speak the language by, like right in front of you when they're speaking with you in English and you go in a language. Like I guess they're the country they speak the language, but you get what I'm saying the way they do that. It's rude. I wouldn't do that. That's not cool. It's not correct. Not in a non-professional way like this. And <clears throat> to help her try to feel better. But I'm just in shock at everything that happened. Of course, they would pick us and cause us problems. I knew we'd have some problem coming to, to this continent. I just... Uh, I was so horrible sleeping on the airplane. Four and a half hours of sleep. Horrible body pain. I put a lay back much in the seat. Couldn't upgrade our seats for $800 in total because it's already too much we spent. They were definitely treating me better. I saw them making my other room with her, leaving her by herself. They wouldn't let me go in with her. The woman came out and had such an ass face. But when talking with me, she was better. Like, I saw so many people treating me like my ass is golden because I'm American. Dude, piss off. You're not going to treat her decent because she has a Brazilian passport. What the frick? I would like a mess right now because I just, I've been traveling so long, so long. And I'm, I'm just not happy. I'm not freaking happy with the way things are. We tried calling, like we got to the hotel. They give us a free transportation to here. It took us like an hour or more standing in the cold. Like we don't know how to call. We don't have a SIM card. Oh, so many problems. Can't connect to the Wi-Fi. And just staying out there in the cold while she's trying to figure out, like go around and find out what to do. And a taxi was with us before. I'm saying, oh, I'll try to do 20s lattes, about five euros. He's like, oh, I can't fit your stuff in. You have to choose this other one. And it's actually going to try to do 50s lottie, which is like 10 euros or, or just some crap, more than 10 euros. This is for a really short trip, by the way, like three minute trip. I'm like, why would I pay you that much for a three minute trip? I could use that money somewhere else to go buy some other things. <sighs> I'm, I'm just, I thank God we got this. We went and got to that spot. They wouldn't explain properly at all. They're horrible explaining you. Know, their English is broken. They explain is, explain is broken. The conduct of Poland in the way the people act in formation is so broken. It's like, there's not another word I can use to describe it. It's broken. And they don't explain things properly. It's like they're drunk half the time, all the time. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why these people are like this. I just, I'm, I'm not okay after everything. Like all the, the trips and having issues all the time and going through this. Eastern Europe appears to definitely be cheaper for the price. So you know what? We're gonna try to make the most of this and like just try to celebrate uh, my birthday. Try to celebrate these days coming up here. Um, just go ahead and. Try not to have things ruin everything, basically, because this has not been cool. I'm probably not explaining it right, but there's like really sketchy ways people, I was afraid to record in the airport. I really was. I'm sure you can understand some way. It felt really not cool. There's a woman walking around with like the ultimate feminist. It's like her conduct just like, you look at me wrong when I'm freaky, basically, like that type of person. With a giant dog that's like gonna like, kill you, basically, for drugs and crap. I'm just like, is this normal to have here? Normally they have that when they need it. If you see these things around, it means there's probably some issues in the, the country, right? Probably, uh, it's pretty late here, I, like I said, so I'm gonna be careful. My fingers are so red and, and it's not looking like it. But they're really sore, really hurting from packing sacks all day. I, I mean, I, I guess that's roughly everything. I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm just not okay. I'm so tired. I end up playing here almost uh, in my head. I fell asleep for a quick second, a literally quick second. I went almost in my head down the side of the plane because I just um, freaked up. They'd open every more sacks, even the sack with some food. Took one of the chocolate bars, broke it apart to go check and toss it. Like, <sighs> it was ridiculous. 
just like invasive, checking through our documents all over as well, seeing things they shouldn't be seeing, private stuff, and I'm sorry, I'm just really not okay, and she's not either, really not, more than me because of what happened with her. They didn't do the P thing to me, by the way, because I'm American. I'm so thankful that there's no problem with the knife, because depending on where you go, there can be like in the UK, yeesh. Yeah, I would have had big problems with that. I'm going to show you the room. I'm going to finish off the vlog. So here's the room, guys. If you're wondering how nice it is. Um, I don't know why I just want to randomly sneeze right now, frick. Um... They give you basically everything here. I'm actually shocked at how big this room is. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Looks like complimentary. If you're wondering about the bathroom, it's pretty big. And uh, yeah, I have a bathtub. Um, maybe get water on the floor accidentally. I don't know. Be careful. It's crazy. It's actually. <laughs> Decent. Oh yeah, this is about eighty dollars a day. It's the best room they had. Yeah, not bad, I'd say. Okay, guys, I'm I'm done. I'm happy. I have this place, but I'm actually just like, I don't know. I Maybe mean, you can understand me. I'm just, mm, it's cool, you know. I don't even feel like I deserve it. I feel like I just have it. Okay, it's cool. I'm here. Uh, especially with the money I'm spending and just everything I went through. I think people have spoiled this country already for me with the way they treated us and went through and did things and just pulled us out. And I, I get the fact that like, they're saying, oh, we need to do this and then it's our regulation. If that's your country's regulation, I don't like your country. I'm sorry, I did not feel proper with this. I felt really violated. Any country, even the United States, doesn't matter. It does not matter which country. I guess I'll try to enjoy this. I'll t probably try to take a shower or something. Go on and see what's happening in the markets tomorrow. If you think I'm wrong about something, just um, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching, truly. Um, I look forward to seeing what you say. Maybe you'll help me see things in a different way. I'm um, just, um, uh, not happy. I'd like to go back to Paris for a few days and back to the US after that. Well, uh, make some money and go and do some stuff in Europe properly, but Poland is a really weird country. I'm not a fan of the way they use their language, just to speak like that. I don't even know if, can't remember if Paris was doing it or not. I don't know, at least their language is easier. Polish is really difficult, like similar, similar to Russian, maybe if I learn Russian I'll be able to understand it better, I don't know. That's it. I mean, it's really kind of messed up. Like, if you flew, if you fly for 25 hours at different stops and different airports and go through, through all this, I'm sure you'll <laughs> feel similar. I imagine anyone would. So, I again, just thank you for watching, and, uh, uh, I'm really interested to see what you say. So, um, hopefully tomorrow we will be better and not take you out to some stores. And until then, thank you.